I have made videos about my opposition to war before. I have touched upon the destructive nature of it both abroad and at home. The consequences of it is akin to metastasis in many ways. Just like cancer cells spreading to every part of the human body, the consequences of war spreads to nearly every aspect of life. Community and familial social structures are torn apart. The economy is left stained and scarred. There's a wonderful video I did where I report on the fact that the United States federal government exhausted $5.933 trillion on war since 9-11. However, there exists one little aspect I missed. I don't think it is a secret that there are special interest groups who benefit from perpetual war. For example, Lockheed Martin, Boeing, Airbus Group, Thales, Rolls-Royce, and so on. That is a video for another time. Maybe that should be my follow-up video to this video. Instead, I want to talk about war being one of the most intrinsic elements that venerates the concept of the state, thus empowering the state. To me, it is a bit ironic how something that subtracts from the wealth of the people and economic usefulness of the country can be the health of the state. This goes beyond the military-industrial complex, which is an informal alliance between the military and defense industry that ends up influencing public policy. The state gets weaponry and private contractors get rich. Next, the wealthy defense industry has pull in order to get certain politicians elected in order to perpetuate war, therefore ensuring that the wealth defense contractor the wealthy defense contractor keeps a constant flow of money. Again, that is a concept I can explain in another video. So I must ask, what is the root of this problem? In war, state power is pushed to its ultimate, and under the slogans of defense and emergency, it can be openly resisted in time of peace. War thus provides many benefits to a state, and indeed, Every modern war has brought to the warring people a permanent legacy of increased state burdens upon society. The government has a desire to protect, venerate, and justify its existence and authority. As Murray Rothbard said in the quote above from his book Anatomy of the State, war acts as an opportunity for government to protect, venerate, and justify its existence and authority. As Murray Rothbard writes in Anatomy of the State, once a state has been established, the problem of the ruling group or caste is how to maintain their rule. A politician has an interest in securing his or her position within the government. With a spot in the government comes the ability to, to write, vote, and veto laws. In its most bare-bones concept, a law is a rule that is enforced by violence and coercion. Having a, a part in this particular aspect is to wield a massive amount of power. With a position in government, there is power to make decisions over the district that elected you. Also, with the power to write laws, the door is open for special interests looking for favors or their own influence to be increased. As Ron Paul, a doctor and former congressman wrote in Liberty Defined, Government attracts all those who enjoy using power over others. The goal of all demagogues is to achieve power at all costs. The unfortunate result of this characteristic is that it perpetuates the growth of the state and its ability to usurp authority. This leads me to my main point. The best way for the state to not only remain in power, but to also appropriate even more power, is a perpetual state of war. An armed force is the sole instrument for the exertion of government force. This exertion of force is used to conquer land, resources, and enforce laws. Having an armed force is not only a literal means of exerting force, it is also a symbolic display of state authority. Symbolically, displaying your authority is to double down on your grip over power, thus solidifying your veneration. The act of remaining in conflict results in a continual justification for your existence. The ability to wage war and have defense companies accept your authority reinforces your ability to keep and use power. 
a populace accepting your justification for conflict in relationship with their belief that the state is fighting on their behalf acts as permission and validation for state authority on behalf and from the populace. War is an excuse for the state to use emergency powers. Continual conflict is the state's justification to keep the expanded power.